Happy holidays. Welcome to the Armstrong Street Scene. We hope you're enjoying our marathon. It, it's just uh, it's a great time of the year. You know, at this time, <laughs> time to settle down. We, yeah. This year has been absolute hell. We yeah. know it has. You know, we've started this tradition of December is Street Scene Month on Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, and I hope you enjoy it because we sure enjoy seeing you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Break, break out that new bottle of scotch and sit down and watch us. Yeah, give me a bottle of rum. I'll be all rum? right. Rum? Okay. Yeah. I'm a yeah. scotch drinker. Yeah. So, yep. Just give me that. I tell you what. We dug up some questions. Email us. I want your thoughts. We want, you th see, we want to hear from you of your thoughts on these questions because on the Internet, when I look these up, just for basic questions, they have a true or false answer, and they have that's the answer. Okay. There's never and that answer. And our email address is where? Where will it be? Right there. Okay. Right here. Right, here. <laughs> right in front of your face. <laughs> All right. Here we go. True or false? Okay. The rarer the classic car, the more it is worth. Oh, geez. That, uh that's a tough I don't think so. No, no, not at all. Uh -uh. No, false. Uh -uh. Look yeah. at these Packards back here. They're worth money. They're beautiful yeah. cars. Okay, so if you have a rare, I can get them a muscle car guy. You have an LS6 Chevelle, mm -hmm. 1970. It's worth a ton of money. Yeah, because it's rare. You have a rarer Chrysler 300 of a 19, you know, 68 or something. It's not worth half that much. Mm -hmm. So if you have a rarer car, it doesn't mean it's worth more. No. Nope. You know, it's all about what you like, too. Mm, Who yeah. cares about, yeah. you know? It's a you, hobby. Yeah. You get something you like. Yep. There's Studebakers out there. There's mm. MGs. People love everything. There's not a car that people really, well, I don't know about Chevette, but I'm sure you have Chevette fans. No, there's guys with that. They're beautiful. And there's you a know couple what? of them. I have to say that picture. because, yeah. you know what, mm. you drop a big engine in that and race those fast. <laughs> so, you know, the Pinot guys, uh -huh. everything. There's So it's not true. You know, yeah. they're worth what are the worth what they're worth to you? You're right, right. So, well, some people, when they go to sell them, they say, oh, this car is, I got $50,000 in this car. It's worth 50000 No, nah. it's not. You know, I've seen, uh, <clears throat> there was a guy, a perfect example, a guy had a 78 T-Bird. Mm -hmm. uh, those aren't on, worth much. Uh, <laughs> he wanted 15000 out of it. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, uh, somebody, one buddy called him and said, you want fifteen for it? He said fifteen. I'll give you fifteen hundred. You go, 1, no, I want fifteen thousand. Yeah. Like guys like, no, oh, no way. Those, you know? those never took off. Yeah. yeah. But they were popular, but yeah. they were more of a, you know, just an everyday driver car. For a family car or something like that, yeah. How about this one? Go ahead. True or false? Perfectly restored cars are the most valuable. Perfectly yeah. Perfectly restored are the most valuable. Well, that can go either way. I would say yes. I would say true. Okay, I'd say false. <clears throat> you know, um, to factory, perfectly restored to factory. It depends. Yeah, you know, that changes because people. I think when you go to sell a car, a lot of them look for factory stock, markings, stock, stock chuff yeah. marks on yeah. the drive shafts, and yeah. you know those are worth. Mm -hmm. Again, it could be the car. You could have a perfectly restored. Yeah. You know, car that's not worth anything. But sometimes you put your own touches on this yeah. car. And people don't like it. it. All Some depends. people don't like it. Could yep. be true. Or, it says false, but it mm -hmm. could be true or false. Now, you know, back when 20 years ago, or even now, you know, if you had an original car with a patina on it, that was just worth a fortune. Mm -hmm. They're starting to go down. And you know what's coming back now is the customized. They're just starting to grow up again. Yeah. I mean, it all changes, but, you know. It could be true or false. Give us your thoughts. Yeah, you got to watch customize them because yeah, it's some good. of them are cheap aftermarket parts, yeah. and they're not NOS parts. And like they're, I said, the market you slim down the market with the customization yeah. too, because you're not not many people are gonna. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that one. Well, you know, again, but. if you okay, it depends what car you have. Mm -hmm. You got you know a car that's not worth anything. Why heck not customize it? Right. It's yours. You know. Okay. How about this one? True or false? Altering the appearance or performance will depreciate its value. That kind of goes along with the one before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure does. A lot of guys will yeah. alter the performance, like, you know, bore and stroke it and stuff like well, that. Can, yeah, and I don't think that really hurts it at all. No, uh, you can do that all internally and mm -hmm. not even see it. Mm -hmm. um, it depends on the car, mm -hmm. true or false. You know, you got to, again, I go back to a story years ago, back in the 90s. Buddy of mine had a 69 Chevelle Supersport, 19,000 miles on this car. 
I come over one day, he's got up in the garage and he's got the wheel wells all cut out of it. I'm like, what are you <laughs> doing to this car? Uh -huh. I want to tub it, make a street <clears throat> ride. He did. It was beautiful. But I'm like, a 19,000 mile original uh -huh. 69 Chevelle Super Sport had the 396 mm -hmm. in it and it had a four speed. I'm like, oh my gosh. But again, it, it's your yeah. car. But I guess it depends on the car. But one thing you got to do also, if you're going to customize these cars, save the old parts. Yes. Okay? Like if you're going to put different wheels on it or different this or different that, save the old parts. So when you go to the sell it someday, which you more than likely will, you'll have the parts. Say, so here, here's the old parts if you want to put it back to the way it I was. I always say this, if you're <clears throat> restoring or you're going to customize a car, you got a Ford Falcon with a straight six mm -hmm. engine in yeah. it. Okay, yeah. it's all original. Yeah. Pull the engine out, put it in mothballs. Because yeah. you might, you you drop a 460 in it or some mm -hmm. big block. You might have somebody that comes in like, do you have the original engine for it? You know, because I want to go back mm -hmm. to stock and it's worth more to them that way. But how, so, about, how about some of these retro mods? Huh? Yeah. You, get, you get an old Corvette, a Stingray, and you take the old engine out of it and you drop an LS engine in it. Oh that's, my God, that's the it, thing to it do. doubles. That, the price almost doubles so on them. you can't say yeah. it's true or false. Yeah. You know, it depends on the car. Yeah. You know, how about, uh, okay, last question okay. for this one. True or false? No cars built within the last 20 years are truly collectible. Well, that's not true. False. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. think about it. You know, you've got your one-offs, your numbered cars that they came out from the factory. Yeah, that's, think about the last 20 years. So mm -hmm. it's 2020, 2000 and up. Right. I mean, there's <clears throat> been the Ford GT. And the Copos, too. The How Copos? about the Copos? Yeah. yeah I the mean, Copos, too. Yeah. You know, they, they, you know. Those are limited edition there, yeah. You know, some of those are just going to keep going up. I the, mean, I see the Hellcats going up. I mean, they made a ton oh, of Hellcats. Oh, my gosh. They're, how about the Demons? They're going to yeah. go up. Uh, you know, just The Red some, Eye Demons. I think those are the big ones, right? Yeah, Isn't that bigger? Yeah. One. Just one drive. I uh -huh. just want, I've never ridden in one. <laughs> I've never driven my, one. I'd, I'd kill myself. Oh, I'd die happy uh -huh. doing it, though. <laughs> Uh, and they're any, putting those in what Dodges now, the, the SUVs? Yeah, we. I was just looking on YouTube last night. Somebody had one of those, uh, one of those. Uh, oh, I can't even think of the name of it, but they had that. The head Hellcat engine, and he uh -huh. put uh, cam. He cammed it, and put a Flowmaster exhaust system. Oh, he wanted boy, more. It, boy, it's uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, he was pulling eleven hundred horse. Oh out of my it. god! <laughs> <laughs> Never enough. My buddy, my buddy John Martin. He said the best thing. I said, when are they ever going to stop? He goes, who cares? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah who cares? Yeah. Let, it, let it bring it on. So, enjoy the rest of this marathon. Uh, all day Christmas Day is a marathon all day. Street scene, street scene, street scene. Nothing else. No other shows. New Year's Day, it's all street scene. So enjoy the month of December. Have a happy holidays. Happy holidays. And quit ringing your bells. And we'll <laughs> see you down, down the, the road. road.